Welcome to today's new cheating story. Wife got pregnant from my own younger brother. I'm 39, male, been married to my wife, 36, female, for 15 years. I also have a son, 13. My family consists of mom, 58, dad, 62, sister, 30, and younger brother, 22. Last year, I found my wife crying in our bedroom. I consoled her, and she tells me she's pregnant. I was elated and explained to her that's great news. The color of her face changed, and she tells me it is, and leaves the room. It was weird. During that time, I also found out about excessive time spent on the phone. I took care of her alone, did the cooking and cleaning alone because COVID's situation was high, so no one could come in here. She gave birth to a healthy baby girl. She's just like her mother, adorable. Fast forward to last month and this month, my brother used to frequently visit us, which I thought was fine until it got to be every day. But hey, he's my baby brother. This month, we went to our parents to stay there for two weeks. I saw my wife getting awkwardly close to my brother. I was the primary breadwinner of both families. My father owned a few shops which were under my direct control. I am an investment banker, and apart from this, we also have several houses that we rented out. So, I stayed busy most of the time, but whenever I came home, I saw my wife and brother spending time together, which was weird considering she was close to my sister before. I also see my sister spending more time with me. I get the sense something is up, and my sister wants to tell me something. I ask her several times, but she assures me everything's alright. Last week, my father asked me to spend some time with him fishing, just me and him. I agreed, during which he tells me stories about fish and how he spent his time with his father. Here, he goes on to praise me, how good a son I was, and he's proud of me. I sense there's a bigger picture. He also tells me that he's disappointed in my brother, because he has no goals set, he doesn't work, does pot, smokes, and has an alcohol addiction. My father wasn't very close to my younger brother, but my mom was. When we were leaving, he tells me he has to go somewhere, gives me the fishing kit and a small paper, and leaves, telling me I should open the paper after he has left. When I open the paper, my entire world turns upside down. It was a DNA test, I'm not the father to my daughter. I rush to my home, family home. Everyone was there, and I confront my wife and brother. They both accepted and apologized to me, telling me it was a mistake. I further find out, it has been going on for a year, and they both love each other. My wife consoles me, saying that she can't change what happened, and she will always be sorry for me. I'm a perfect husband, father, son, but I couldn't be a good lover, because I spend excessive time outside. Mind you, people, I take her on vacation twice a year, date nights once or twice a month, we have a sex twice or thrice a week, always asked her. If she was all right, she could have told me once, she could have talked. My sister chimes in and tells me, she knew and she couldn't bring herself to tell me. Hearing of the commotion, my mom comes with the baby. She explains to me, that she can't change the outcome. My wife and brother already have a baby together. My son grew attached to it. I should accept it and move on. I was the older brother, and I should forgive them. I call her out, and told her how can my own family betray me like that. I told my wife, I don't need a wife and that I have to compete with other men, despite her being my wife. Told her, she will get the divorce papers, and told my backstabbing brother, that I always stood up for him, and now he is the one to backstab me, and left this place. My phone was blowing up. My father told me, he is with me, but he can't say anything openly due to my mother. He tells me, he's sorry for being a bad father, also told me my mom knew about the affair, she just didn't speak about it. I told him, I don't care, 
I don't need a family that stabs me in the back, and he can gladly cut me off from the family after the divorce. I haven't told her family yet. My soon-to-be ex-wife calls me every day, 100 plus times, texts me, saying my son misses me. My brother hasn't reached out to me yet. My sister apologized to me, telling me she should have told me, but she couldn't be a good sister and that I'm the role model for her. She is always proud to have me. I haven't replied to them at all. My mother called me to tell me, we all make mistakes, and we could be a family again, if I decide to forgive. She hinted that my children need a father figure, and if I can't be there, there's my brother to take care of my family. She told me, the court won't give me custody, and if she stands up for them, things might go wrong for me. That infuriated me, and I blocked her. I haven't talked to any of them the past two days. Divorce can be expensive here, but it is what it is. I haven't told anyone about this, haven't slept well, can't eat anything. I feel like, I've lost my reason to live. In just a week, I've lost everything, my family, my wife and kids, my dignity, everything. I feel like dying. Because there is no purpose to my life, at least now. Edit. I talked to the lawyer. I just have to file right now. Lawyers said, I have to pay spousal support. Getting the primary custody will be hard. About the establishment of parentage for my daughter. I love her, even though she's not my daughter. It will take a long time to get it finalized. Divorce here is expensive. I'm looking at around $900 a month. As spousal support for her and my daughter, 50 to 50 custody of my son, and half the assets. I also noticed I wrote DNA test, sorry, it was a paternity test of my daughter and brother. It confirmed 99% yes, my brother was 7, when me and my wife got married. I know, it's a disgusting fact. Update. This is a small update to my situation. I thought things would be better with time but it instead turned worse. To anyone wondering, see my earlier post. I left the house after finding out and got my finances in order, met lawyers, and started divorce proceedings. I got the papers this Friday. My wife came over, we had a talk. She told me, she doesn't want a divorce for our son. She apologizes and acknowledged her fault. I tell her, I want a divorce regardless and give her the papers. She had the audacity to initiate, as if I was going to give in. I told her to leave after that. This Saturday, my sister, who lives in the Netherlands, came here for vacation, left early after she verbally destroyed my wife and mother. She called me, and we had a talk. She apologized on her part. She was put in a conflicted position as mom begged her not to tell me. She told me mom was worried about my health, and how I would react, and also that my younger brother coerced mom into doing this. Things got a lot clearer after that, but regardless, it doesn't make me feel any better, and my life is right now in a place where I can't do anything. It's breaking apart everything that I held dear. I also met my son, spending the day with him on Saturday, taking him to a gaming zone that's really popular here. I told him what I planned. He tells me he knows. My mom weeps every day, his mom, my wife, she's just lost. She doesn't know what to do, conflicted. I found out later another reason, my younger brother just smokes pot and drinks alcohol, doesn't take up his responsibilities. My sister and I already agreed, we are taking our names off from the family, and we do not want any of the inheritance. I'm going to cut off myself from the family. Move to a different country. My sister already told me, she can help if I choose to move to the Netherlands, that might be my destination now. After a year of divorce, it isn't easy. Days are long and hard, especially when you think about the incident. I've lost count of how many times I've thrown up. My blood pressure is low tremendously, as well as my sugar levels. Yesterday afternoon, my father called and told me mom's in the hospital. She suffered a bad stroke and collapsed at the table during lunch. Her condition isn't very great. Dad told me, she wants to meet me, the doctor told us to pray. 
Her condition isn't good enough to get her discharged. My wife is handling everything for now. My brother is just visiting for a few hours and leaving. My newborn daughter is with my wife in the hospital, along with my son and dad. Dad told me this might be it. He wants me to visit. I've told my sister. She's conflicted about it. I'm being honest. Part of me wants to visit her, but the majority part doesn't. She's my mother, no matter what, but she chose to betray me. She chose to hurt me. She chose to support my wife instead of me. It wasn't the cheating that was bothering me. It wasn't that my wife slept with my brother and chose him over me. It was all the betrayals that my family did. It was all that everyone knew and no one chose to tell me. It was that my own mother prioritized her other son an evil deed, threatened me to cut me off from the family. Now suddenly she's in the hospital and she wants to meet me. I'm not at all doing great or happy regarding this. I think of suicide every day. Therapists suck. They don't do anything else other than vent or actually help you. They're a waste of money. Many of my relatives visited mom in the hospital. Word of my wife's affair got out to a few close relatives. My favorite uncle absolutely destroyed her right in the hospital by calling her and my brother the most vile things. Dad told me this. It took my teenage son to get my uncle into his senses and regain calmness. I've talked to a few friends. They're advising me to divorce, move on, shift to another country, and settle down with someone else. I don't know, nothing. I don't have any plans because right now, I just can't. I can't plan anything. I talked to my lawyer too. He told me, I can get my share of inheritance if my mother didn't create a will. I can't get it if I resign my inheritance or if she cuts me off. Nothing of that sort happened. I don't have any interest in inheritance money, family. I just want my son, so I can escape this godforsaken family and just be sane. As for the paternity, it's going to be tougher than divorce itself. Cheating isn't a deal breaker or a trump card in most countries, but being ashamed is, and it can destroy you in many ways. However, if I can leverage my inheritance share, it might give me an upper hand, and I might not have to pay spousal support. But it all depends on mutual agreement. I found out I can also lodge a complaint in my country against an unfair partner, which in this case is my brother. As my son is a minor, I can also get a restraining order against my wife and my brother for my son, because the use of alcohol and drugs is frowned upon in my country. So I do have some hope, but currently I'm torn between my mother's condition. I can't believe what three weeks can do to you. It honestly is the lowest point of my life. The only thing that is holding me back is my son. Thank you all for joining us today on Silent Affairs. Be sure to like and subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on our next video. See you in next video.